Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for formaldehyde or methanol. Same thing, same uh, different name, same compound. So here we go. Um, our chemical formula is going to be CH2O, which is going to give us four valence from the carbon, plus two hydrogens, each with one valence electron, plus uh, six electrons from the oxygen, for a total of 12 valence electrons. Sorry about the camera focus there. Okay, um, so we know that the uh, hydrogens cannot be central atoms, so we're going to have to have um, the carbon be in the center, okay? Cause just, just like a standard standard um, Lewis dot structure. So we have the carbon in the center, oxygen on the right, and two hydrogens. So let's go ahead and single bond the hydrogens and then single bond the uh, carbon to the oxygen. Now, and, and we can fill in the octet for the oxygen. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's our twelve electrons. But if you notice, the carbon does not have its full octet. So what we're going to do is move one of these non bonding pairs, give the oxygen a double bond to the carbon. Now, each hydrogen has two, carbon has eight, and so does the oxygen. So this should be the correct structure. So let's go ahead and calculate the formal charges to see if this is correct. So the formal charge on carbon, which is the central atom here, is going to be four valence brought in, minus one, two, three, four bonds, minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. The formal charge on the oxygen is going to be six valence brought in, minus two bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And now the formal charge on the hydrogens. And notice that they're both the same setup. So there's one electron brought in, minus one bond for each one, minus zero non-bonding electrons, formal charge of zero, times two because there's two of them. But that still is gonna add up to zero, which is what we want because this is a neutrally charged particle. So that's good. Now in terms of shape, um, this is going to be a uh, trigonal planar shape. There's a central atom with three peripheral atoms, all right? Trigonal planar, when you have that shape, the bond angles are going to be approximately 120 degrees. All right. In terms of this, the carbon as the central atom, there's one, two, three electron groups or bonding sites, which means you're going to have sp2 hybridization. Okay, so sp2 hybrid, and because this oxygen and there's two hydrogens, they're not the same, so their their dipole moments will not cancel out, making this a polar compound. Uh, that should be pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.